These two are the, you know, our bread and butter. Bretta and Browning, our biggest question is, you know, what's better, what's the most popular? For us, it's 50-50. People get quite tribal about these two brands, I mean, Beretta <laughs> and Browning. I mean, if they're coming in for a first shotgun and they choose, say, the Beretta, do you reckon there'll be a Beretta shooter for life? Is that how it works? Generally, very few people have got both makes. Some have, but generally what they have when they start shooting, they, they stay with. If these were cars, what, what, what make of cars would they be? They're probably uh, a, a good mid-price Audi without going over the top. So if one's a mid-price Audi, the other's a mid-price BMW, is it, is yeah. it like that? Yeah, that, that, that sort of thing. I mean, you can buy more expensive Brown and, and Berettas, like you can buy more expensive BMWs and Audis, but these are good all-rounders. And yeah, With the Beretta, it's, especially this is the Silver Pigeon 1, this is the 525 Browning. The 525 Browning is a little bit chunkier to hold. Um, a little bit, there's a little bit more there. It's not, it's only fractional, but it does feel a bit more. So some people like the more sleeker, um, fractionally lighter Beretta, but then others like someone a bit more there to, to hold. So it's not, it's, it's like what I say all the time, it's what you're comfortable with. I'm, I'm always straight with people. I don't sell a gun to somebody because I want to make a sale. I, I'm always straight with people. There is a two pound price difference. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, that tells me they are absolutely head to head. Yeah, that, that is one thing that I haven't got to sway people one way or another because they're practically the same, the same price. Um, it, it, people do go on the gun and not on the price then. If they've made their mind up to spend this sort of money, they, at least they haven't got to worry about that. They're not spending 200 pound more on one gun than the other. They can go on how the gun handles and looks and feels for them. On this one, you've got the, the breadth of the scroll engraving, which some people like. Some people like a planer, other people like gold. It, it, again, it's everything different. This is very traditional, the pheasant uh, looks nice. But again, everybody's different. We get, so we've got some guns of other makes that are covered in gold, and oh, that's what they want. They've got to have the gold. And other people want it as plain as possible. So it's a good job we're all different. <laughs>